Hey, what's up? I wanted to give you a real quick review for your quiz on Friday over the incline plane family of simple machines. So remember that includes the wedge and the screw. Uh, this PowerPoint you have access to. The big things, remember that I keep talking about mechanical advantage, okay? We have ideal mechanical advantage and actual mechanical advantage. There's gonna be formulas in the PowerPoint that are different then IMA is DE over DR. They're different, but they're the same. Because remember, I keep telling you, if you know where to measure and what to measure, the only two you need are IMA is ideally I'm going to kill a deer and AMA is not free. So when you think about that, um, hopefully that will help you conceptualize what's going on. So we start with the incline plane. And when we look at the incline plane, it gives us this formula specifically. But once again, if I know that that distance effort is the hypotenuse of that triangle, because if I push that cart up that ramp, it's going to go that 15 feet. And then my distance resistance was how much is it lifting? How much does it come off all the ground? And it's four feet. So once again, it's DE over DR. Don't make it harder than it has to be. Remember that on the incline plane, it's going to be the slope or the hypotenuse. So you may get a problem later on where they give you, they give you this rise and this run and you've got to find the slope or do the Pythagorean theorem to find that hypotenuse. Don't let that fool you. Okay. Now, when we get down to the wedge, uh, it's different. Okay. There is, don't worry about the hypotenuse on the wedge. All we're looking at here is the distance up and down and the distance kind of left and right on this particular example. So when you think about a wedge splitting wood, well, the wood's trying to stay together, right? So the wedge, the resistance is how much that wedge, that wood has split, okay? So when you look at this formula, DE over DR, well, the distance effort is how far did the wedge travel into the wood or whatever you're splitting in this example. The, resi the distance resistance is how much splittage did you get? So if I go back to that slide on this one, my if I was going to measure on this one, I would measure from the tip here to how much was actually inside that log would be my distance effort. And then I would measure how far that gap was to get my distance resistance. So make sure you understand that. So it's a little bit different with the wedge. Um, then you've got the screw remember is just the incline plane and remember on this guy here the only thing that i care about when you get this kind of information i don't care about the diameter i don't care about this thread description i just want this right in the sweet spot right in the middle the middle's where the money's at here and 13 is the number that i care about because that's the threads per inch so remember um and if i just put a one over that it gives me the pitch which is almost always going to be my DR. I mean, unless you're turning the, the screw with the, on the threads, it's almost always going to be your DR is going to be your pitch, which is how many threads are in one inch. So for every, remember in a screw, everything's based on one rotation, one rotation. So in one rotation, this bolt, which is a screw, will go up or down one thirteenth of an inch. So that's the distance resistance. The distance effort is going to be the circumference of the effort, the circle. Okay, so wherever I'm applying that force at, and that's what it says here, the circumference. Uh, remember, it's just pi d for circumference, uh, pi times diameter. So like in this one here, if you had an eight inch wrench, and they, once again, this quarter inch on this one, that's junk. That's how big this, this is. I don't care about that. All I care about is that 20. That tells me that 1 20th of an inch. My pitch is 1 20th of an inch up and down. And if I have an 8 inch radius, right, 16 inches would be my diameter. So pi times 16, okay, would give me my distance effort. How far does my hand travel in a circle? If I turn that wrench, how far did my hand travel in the circle? Okay, so the two things there for distance, circumference of the effort force and pitch, 1 over the threads per inch. Distance effort, distance resistance. Don't let it confuse you, okay? I hope that helps.